630 watts, 900 watts. Houston, don't want to say it, but we have a problem. Well, before we start, welcome back to another video here in the off-grid garage. This time with a troubleshooting and problem and issue and shit video. I don't know what's going on. Something is not right. As you know, we have now both stages of the solar installation finished and connected and operational. We've got some solar panels here on the east roof and some of the west roof. 1.3 kilowatt, 1.7 kilowatts. This is the 1.3 kilowatt peak. We got roughly 900 watts at the moment. This is the west roof with 1.7 kilowatts and it produces only 639 watts. Okay, let me show you the situation here on the roof. This is the new installation here, 1.7 kilowatts, nine panels. And this is the existing installation, 1.3 kilowatts, these six panels, not these ones. And as you can see from my shade, the sun is actually shining more on this side here. So on the bigger solar array. This has 1.7 kilowatt, 1.3 kilowatt. This produces only 600 watts. This produces 900 watts. Something is going on, right? And I was watching this for a couple of times now uh, through the VRM portal. And this is another advantage. You can actually watch this from work now on your mobile phone from wherever you are and can monitor the situation in your system. And I found it always strange that these panels here are producing far less power than the other ones with the smaller power actually. This is a 1.7 kilowatt and this is almost optimal angle now here. So they should produce far, far, far over one kilowatt now on power, but they are producing only half a kilowatt, 650 watts, 700 watts I have seen maximum. That is all. And I don't know what the, why this is. I have no idea. So what I want to do is now, I want to go down here and disconnect single strings. I know you shouldn't do this under load, but well, there's almost no load on there. There's almost... Because at the moment we are getting two amps per string only. Two amps, that's all. That is ridiculous. Ow, 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 ow. It's hot. Okay, disconnect this one as well. Okay, so now we have only the middle string connected. This one is disconnected, this one is disconnected. I'm just trying to do some simple troubleshooting now. I should actually take my phone with me on the roof here so we can monitor it straight away. See this middle string produces only 200 watts. These are three 190 watt panels. Okay take the mobile phone with us. The other one produces 900 watts and the the angle is actually really bad at the moment on this or oh, not really bad it's worse than on the other side so why is it producing only 2.7 amps why is this happening Well, you could say, because I told you, these are older panels already, and we have also mixed them up. This is a SunTech, and this is a Ely Solar, Rin, Rinne Solar or something. And you can see the, um, the fading of this yellow panel there already. So these are older panels. Yo, and this is the string now. I hope you can see this here. It's a bit, yeah, 204 watts it produces, the whole string. Well, one panel has already 190 watts and I'll just put the mobile phone here in the shade so we can watch the... I'll just shade one of them with my hand and see if the power actually goes down. Yeah, it does. 180 only. Take my hand away again. 
there it goes up again so it it actually reacts to that so there's not more power coming from these three panels now we've got 77 volts which is totally fine but something is going on here okay i'm just dis i'm just connecting the other string again here and see what's happening then see the power goes up 5 amps but still look at the voltage how it goes down these are 36 volts usually so there should be around 100 volt in the maximum power point and we have only 70 75 amps uh, 75 volts see how it goes up and down as if it tracks the power point and can't track it and we've got only 5 amps for two strings this is a 5 amp string this is a 5 amp string in parallel so we should be able to get 7 8 amps at least we've got super bright sunshine today here on the panels it is windy they're getting cooled and we get only 380 watts out of that 4.7 amps only this is all okay let's quickly connect the third string as well let's see what happens yeah see there you go again 600 watts for all three strings this should be done by one string why is this current so low i don't understand what's going on something is not right and when i have a look at the history of these two strings so east roof and west roof we can see yesterday we had here 2.41 kilowatt hours produced by these six panels and we had only 2.1 kilowatt hours produced by nine panels this should be far more than this one so it doesn't perform as well i don't know why this is happening what's going on well we are at the moment we are driving different firmware versions on these controllers the one which causes the trouble here is on the public available last up-to-date firmware version well this one runs a custom firmware version i've got from victron i've explained this in one of my videos i haven't upgraded this one yet it should just work right i don't know why we have so bad performance of these cells well you could argue now the cells are used they are old they are 10 years old maybe no they are not but let's say they are 10 years old they are degraded they are not performing as well anymore well we've got three different types of cells up there and they're all showing the same symptom i don't believe they have all degraded in the same rate roughly all of the strings are delivering two two and a half amps only maximum this is the maximum we will get i don't know is this the charge controller is the charge controller not working correctly is it broken is there something wrong with the charge controller we are getting eight amps only from an array which should deliver 15 amps maybe 16 even as you have seen when i disconnect the strings they're all acting the same even they have different solar panel modules on them they're all acting the same so and this is very suspicious i think i don't think there are something wrong with the panels i could potentially um, disconnect the panels again and short each panel individually just connect the mc4 connectors together for one panel and measure the short current which is going through the panel if i tilt the panel to the optimal sunlight but well, there's a lot of work i have to undo all the cabling underneath and the roof is boiling hot at the moment so um, i don't want to do that what i potentially could do is if i so this these ones are correctly working and this is the problem string coming from the roof so what about if i swap the solar panels so let this one run with the nine with the larger array and this one with the panels on the west side which are working correctly i just swap these four cables out and see what happens then so this would be an easy test i can do right now shouldn't take long all right 
I've isolated both solar arrays now and we will just measuring that there's no DC on these lines anymore. Millivolt, the last time you were correct is millivolt, 11 millivolts and 10 millivolts. Okay, this is all fine. This is all good to go. Oh, shit. The inverter kicks in again. Okay. Do the same for these two. All right, so what we have now done is we have connected the bad string to the solar charge controller with the updated firmware. Um, don't worry about doubling up the cabling at the moment. Positive, negative, positive, negative. That is all good. Okay, I'll turn this back on. So the east side controller shows now the west side panels. No, it's the same shit. We're getting 600 watts. No, we got a maximum of 8 amps, 628 watts. That controller is not the problem. What the heck is going on? Why are these panels not performing that well? And all of them. As I said, there are three different types of panels on there now. And they are performing... I'm a bit lost. I'm officially lost. Can't be a cabling issue or so. They are just... All the negatives are being put together and all the positives are connected to each other. And then one positive and negative comes from there all the way down to the charge controller box. So if there would be a cabling issue like a short or something, we would have other issues, but not that. It is just underperforming by 50%. I really don't believe all these cells are performing the same bad way. I cannot believe that. I mean, there is the possibility, but that is so low. That's not the issue. So I have now split up our positive cables here again from all the strings. And um, I've connected my crocodile cable to the positive cable going to the charge controller. All the negatives are still connected. And I will just connect one positive at a time and see what the actual charge controller does. So this should not make any difference to the test we've done before when we disconnected the MC4 connectors on the roof. There could be a little spark. No, there's not. So we measure 117 volts. Question is, why do we measure only 117 volts? That is not enough. I should be like 40, 45 volt open voltage, open circuit voltage. Maybe it is the panels. Far out. I have to disconnect all the connections again on the roof and measure each panel individually and see what voltage they have. And the roof is so hot at the moment. We've got so full sunshine. 32 degrees, not 32 amps, degrees Celsius outside. And it's even hotter on the metal roof. Anyway, so this one is delivering 2.5 amps only. This is string number one. Disconnect, spark. And panel number two, string number two, has only 112 volts. See, this is the open circuit voltage at the beginning. There's no current flowing, nothing. When we connect the string, 2.3 amps, same result. And this is the one with the two different panels on it. And the third one, the furthest away, this one, one of the panels is one from my house, which I have swapped with another panel. Yeah, for some reason, this panel didn't work with my installation on the house anymore. It had always said, oh, well, that's a different story, maybe for the Patreon channel. Okay, so disconnect this one and connect string number three. 108 volts, 116, zero amps. So this is open voltage. And then it starts tracking now. 2.6 amps. What the hell? Three, I've never seen three. Wow, it is tracking back and forward here. That is not good. 
there we go 2.8 2.8 amps string number three they're all the same they're all not performing well they are performing less than 50 percent of what they actually should deliver far less than 50 percent and I saw this at work on my mobile phone all the time when I looked at the VRM here. I could see we are producing 1033 watts. And I know the east side here produces almost 1000 watts at this point of time. And the rest was the west side, the new panels. And this didn't make sense at all. I said, well, something is not right. Suntech, these are the panels we have installed on this side. So they have voltage at p max 36 volt so we should see around 105 volts in the maximum power point and the open circuit is 45.2 which we don't see either because this would mean we are roughly so 45 that's 120 135 volts that's 135 volts open circuit which we don't see yeah, and this one is running at 75 now, 75 volts instead of around 90. But they're always running a bit lower than I would actually expect. I've seen this on the other side as well. They are not really running in this power point here for some reason. All right, guys, I don't know. What shall I do? Do I have to take apart all the MC4 connectors and then measure each panel individually? I think it comes down to that need to test every single panel individually. I've got no other way to test it any further. Swap the solar charge controllers, measured all the cabling here. This is all fine. There's no issue at all. And the string does not perform well at all. None of them, which is strange. So I thought, well, this is a cabling issue or the charge controller is not working correctly. But no, it's not that. Ah, all right. Ah, uh, what can you do? And start measuring. <laughs> 